uh, I took extra water today knowing it's a strenuous walk knowing that you uh, people have advised plenty of water and now I've lost a bottle of water I got slightly disorientated a minute ago and went down when I shouldn't have done and then had to come back up again all using water in the body <sighs> that was lovely water you know that was fresh spring water that I had that I left behind on a gate somewhere so I really like that water it's like a treat oh dear at least I didn't lose my camera. So anyway, I'm on this track now. I've seen the people that I was on the bus with who are doing this for the first time as well. I had to give them initial instructions and they've got here before me. I give them a head start anyway. I give them a head start. And they must have done it. They got up here. And they didn't make a mistake by going down to that chapel either. There's some more people ahead as well, look. Over there. Who are they? Where are they coming? That's a different couple. They might be coming back. So, I've got my hat on got the camera rolling the stranger spit hasn't started yet what I'm going to do when I've drunk half of the bottle of lemon that I've got I'm going to dilute it even more with water because I think it makes you thirstier that lemon juice there's a little bench up there there's people coming this way or they might be going ahead of me in a way, it's nice to have some company, in, in a way. Um, I am annoyed. I am annoyed with myself big time. Not having the water, you know. Right, over and out. Here's some of the views, everyone. Right there, I'm actually on the rugged route, everyone. It's about four miles. It's a long way. Um, I've let someone else or walkers assess my fluids and they said they, they're happy with what I've presented to them. They said, um, that's fine what I've got. She said uh, that one bottle alone would last her all day. I've just met two other people. They've got two little tiny dogs. They said they've just walked from Bosington. And they said, although people say it's rugged, it's safe and you'll be all right. Just keep going. Um, it's a bit exposed, but you've got your hat on. So here we are, folks. I'm on the rugged route. There's no way to get back out, apparently, once you start it. Now, the two people that I was, that had the dog... They've taken the wrong turn in apparently and they've run out they'd run out of water and um they've gone they've gone down. Um I think they perhaps they've just decided on purpose just to do that bit and then go back. They're not actually gonna do this. I'll be on a path over there in a minute, see? See that line? I'll be zigzagging up that in a minute. <sighs> the thing is that lemon juice makes you thirsty, but I'm not, I'm not to worry about it. Other people have said to me, Sheila, you'll be all right with what you've got. You've, at least you've got some water. Well, you've got to allow for not drinking all at once. That was the idea of the splash bottle. I got the splash bottle. Yeah, I got all guzzle out of that. But it's gone. Hopefully someone else will find it. God, look at this though, everyone. This is Sheila on her adventures on the 14th of 
September 2019. Not a soul in sight now. There might be people that overtake me. Um, someone had to top them up with water. Another set of walkers helped them. But they've not come this way. So maybe they have decided to go back to mine head. And they had big coats. They had big coats. <sighs> yeah, because I asked, I said, did you see anyone with a collie? But there was, there was, um, they'd gone down, yeah, they took the other route. I knew you had to come this way, where you walked up along there. I did see them a couple times. So Christ knows where they've gone. I don't know. The blue was so hot, he'd take, he had taken his top off. I think I'll be all right. It's not as if I've got no water. I can hear cows. There's cows right up there on the top. Look. I suppose if you're really desperate, you could, you want to cut out, you'd have to climb up and get up and that fit those fields. If you suddenly had a panic attack. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute and take some photos. Right then. A bit more video going down. Look at this, look. People I know are actually in front. And guess what, everyone? Guess what? I found my water. I found my water. I tucked it in there. I thought I'd looked in my rucksack. It was in there. My water's in there. There's only one path now, so you can't really go wrong. If you really wanted to get out, you'd have to climb that fence and get in with the cows. This is such an experience, you know, and I'm really... God, you don't know the relief finding the water. That put me in a bloody bad mood, you know. Look at that. And, but I got these walkers, they looked and they said, no, you're all right, you've got enough water. That was what, with the lemon and the big bottle of water, they said, you'll be fine. That, that, that's a plenty. And now I found my other bottle. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm just videoing this little bit. So in a minute, I'm going to be in the sunshine. Right? Exposed. And it's steep. But there's this lovely stream up. I expect they let the dog have a really good drink here. That was a bit of a lifesaver for him, wasn't it? Finding this water stream for the dog. But he had a good old drink. I'm just keeping the camera rolling and just while we go up a bit of this. Steady climb like they were doing. They were going slow, so will I. I'm not making this a rush. <sighs> Look at that. So I've come down from up there somewhere. <sighs> it is reassuring that there's someone in front now, because uh, they would have spotted me. Right then, folks, I'm now going to turn off and take photos.